Hello students, I hope you have already watched the first two videos to understand the navigation and user interface all those. So in this video we will talk about how to do the transformation of this geometry and how to add multiple geometries. Adding multiple geometries is very simple as we have seen even in the first video. You can just go to add mesh and I want a cylinder just click and it's done but all are overlapping on this word center actually but why it is going for word center because you can see there is one icon here this icon is called 3d cursor okay so it always you know the geometry always position in the place of the 3d cursor okay so for now I'll take this move tool let's move this away so that you can see this is called 3d cursor okay so let's change this position of the 3d cursor how to change the position you can anytime hold shift and right click on the surface and see now the 3d cursor is on the surface or right click anywhere it will change okay just okay shift and right click shift and right click but you can see it is now in the space actually it's not on the grid okay now i want to reset it back okay this 3d cursor so you can hold shift c okay what you want to do shift c it will go to the word center again so wherever the 3d cursor is there the geometry will create see here add mesh i want to create a USB C. okay so shift c back to the word center now let's talk about the transformation left side okay so this is the first tool which we have already selected is called move tool the first one you can see it is just a selection tool just for selection purpose but if you want to move it go to the move tool okay and you can see there is a gizmo here okay don't go to the center area okay and move you will get confused like where you are positioning the geometry okay like for example i may think like i want to position on the screen and really don't know whether it is exactly on this bottom of this so in this case i always suggest go to the orthographic view now hold only one axis and position it perfectly see it's very easy you can also hold this two axis at a time using this icon okay and I also want to position this. Okay, you can hold one axis at a time or two axis at a time and position it. So this is the better way. And you can also see like where you position in the top view. Okay, orthographic is a flat two-dimensional kind of view, right? As we already discussed about that. In the same way, okay, go to the top view so that using the orthographic view. It will be very very helpful for you to position your geometry, editing your geometry. Don't do everything set the perspective view. Okay. So once you got you know good experience, then you can work around this perspective. Okay. Now I I want to uh, use some shortcut key. So we know how to use it manually. Now let's see about the shortcut key. Now if I want to move this geometry, okay. Let's say I want to move this Q. Then you can also click on G. G is the shortcut key for move. Okay. G is for moving the geometry. Again, I am moving. I don't know where it is going to position now. Right. So it is better add extra shortcut key. Like you can see there is you know, red, green and blue color. This indicates what? R, G, B color, X, Y, Z color. Okay. Now I want to move this cube exactly on this, you know, Y axis. Then just click Y. Okay. Now it is snapped to Y axis. Now I am moving exactly to the Y. In the same way, I want to move this cylinder in top. Okay. So Z axis. Okay. Z. So let's go for G first. G is for move and then click on z-axis okay like this so <clears throat> got it right in the same way uh, let's see how to rotate it so 
there is a rotate here shortcut is r so first let's see again don't click in between this area it will rotate in all three axis don't do this so if you want to get back okay before releasing before releasing the cursor right click it will go back to the initial stage okay always remember before releasing the cursor don't release the color cursor just right click it will go back so always handle one axis it will be better okay but if you want to uh, rotate this exactly to some degree okay then what you do just click and drag and type the value like i want to rotate exactly to 90 degree 90 like this see exact 90 degree rotation okay you can also see in the right side there is a transform window and you can see like what all we have done changes it is telling y rotation is 90 degree you can also go here click and drag to change the value or even you can type i want to go back to the default zero so i'll click zero and then enter and you can also see uh, the x rotation and even you can scale and you can change the scale value as well you can even click and drag all three at a time like this and just type like i want to scale to double two see it has scale so let's bring back one enter okay so this is the area you can also see the same thing in this area okay so many places are there for now let's hide this n remember the last video so click n it will hide in the same way let's see scale tool so there is a scale tool so you can click and drag and you can do the scaling okay and here you know uh, it's a proportional scaling right proportional lead scaling m so this will be useful when you click in the middle okay like proportional scaling okay so i didn't talk about the what to use with shortcut so r is for rotation right so i'll select this geometry i'll click r and it's rotating and it's mixed axis right we don't know really where it is rotating now as i told for the moment move to you want to click axis like i want to rotate in y axis see now it is going to rotate in y and i want to keep this exactly 90 just type 90 now it is in 90 done now execute it press enter done got it <clears throat> in the same way uh, you can also use it for the scale like yes for scale okay and i want to scale for value 2 it's double see or right click to deselect yes scale or you can also tell axis in which axis you want to scale like y axis i want to scale and what is the value 2 and enter it will execute so likewise just go around play with this move rotate scale on clicking this uh, and using this handle plus also add on with this orthographic and click and drag so that it will do with two axes for more rotate scale explore all with even the shortcuts then we'll see the next video bye bye